Well, first of all, who here has ever collaborated on a song with anybody? You know, something. Project. Yeah. Mm. I mean, when you're in a band, when you get together and you jam, it's a you know. collaboration. Mm. So, just like in any right. the painting, you know, it's not just making the sounds, it's also the absence of sound. Mm. The art of collaboration is simple. It's to meet, it's to create something. I want you to, to do me a favor, and when you leave here, I want you to actively collaborate with someone. It's like, let me ask you something. What came before the Big Bang? Consciousness. Consciousness. What else? Void. Void. Consciousness. Void. Anybody else? What came before the Big Bang? Immediately. Really big silence. Really big silence. Void. Consciousness. A lot of foreplay. I really just said that. <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <laughs> a question, a question, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. These are all Morgan great. Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Good narration, you know. Some opening credits. <laughs> yeah. The, the answer that I like the best, and I learned, you know, through studies, is the intention. The intention happened. Mm. There was an intention for it to happen. Something happened. To make it happen. There was, like, it was pointless. Was it pointless? So the intention behind a collaboration is what I'm trying to express. It's like if I'm getting together with you to do this, well, let's have a point. It makes the whole meeting so much more pleasurable, you know? So my intention, or I'd like for everybody to go with the intention of collaborating on, on a song, on a sentence. But when you come, I would like you to just take away two things. One is to not immediately... A lot of the discourse that we have now as people is important in the collaboration process. When we talk, we find things that interest both of us and that we're both asking about, both, you know, delving into. And those questions that arise, you know, from two, you know, two hours over cups of coffee or whatever, that is a great point for collaboration. Now, this is another thing. When you write with others or recommend is that explore that be the supporter of the other person's ideas so if I'm talking to you Joe about a thing we're both in on this thing let me try to create around what you want to do and in turn as a collaborator you can also express that back so it's like a pendulum of, of, of lifting the other person's ideas and um, the simple idea of keeping the music going is the second thing that I like to underscore um, you can, it's important to have an instrument around so you can just, you know, or this, this kind of meditative process. Because just simply playing one note can activate that kind of bridge between two people. You know, um, what the song says is just as important as that sounds. You know, sometimes it's one note. It's the right note. Can anybody here ever hear the color blue? Is anybody synesthesia? One chord that to me sounds like the color blue. E flat. No, no that's not B flat. Mm. Uh, oh, I'd have to say this this one is not the color blue. You see? It's a royal blue. <laughs> royal blue and cyan blue. That this was more is, of a sky blue. And this or maybe that could be blue. You know? There's a million notes of dark blue. <laughs> well, you ever heard of yellow there? sound? There's things like yellow sound. Operator, the color of that shade over there. Somewhere between that and Jenny's hair. Yeah. This is this you mean you actually see it when you play it? Or you yeah, I mean, if, if I'm seeing any color, it's blue I mean, to me. Yeah. But I never thought about the shade of blue until you played your blue. Yeah. You know?